Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolids at Dawn. I remain your host, Chad, if you're A333, and this last match is going to be between Guyup and Rar on Into Battle. And which has also been prettified slightly. It's a bit harder to tell, mind you. It's more of a. I think pockmarks and such. So it looks a bit better. I mean, it's. It is a subtle change. It's. Like, there's the specularity aspect, and it's. You know, it's prettier. I mean, I think the specularity is actually default. So yeah, it's hard to really tell. It's... It is better. It's just... More subtly better than the other two. The other two are very obvious. Anyway. Also, Guyup is going in a really weird starting position over to the northwest side of the map. On the plateau! Usually it's gonna be over here if it's anywhere, but nope. On the plateau. Actually, no, come to think of it. Yeah, there we go. It's much more obvious if you don't look at the economy view. If you're looking at the metal, metal extraction points. Wow, that's actually... That's pretty shiny. Cool. Anyway. So yeah, Gaia. Over to the northwest side of the map. Going for a super proxy rush build. Rar, on the other hand, just doing Clickybot with their commander. Being Rar. Probably going to go for a warrior rush. And yeah, indeed, there's the warrior right there. Why am I saying probably? I know exactly what's happening. On the other hand, we have Gaiup going for a couple pyros. So, early pyro rush. Chat's predicting a scuttle rush, but no, it is in fact a pyro rush. Although, maybe scuttles will come later. We don't know. Scuttles would be a good idea against RAR, just as a player matchup thing. It's like, oh, well, you're RAR. You're going to go heavy commander. So, have a scuttle. I'm just going to throw a scuttle in your face. See what happens. Oh... Oh, oh no, Gaiop's not going to like this. Rars might be able to guess what's going on. I mean, they're going to see there's nothing here. That's the thing. They're going to see there's nothing in the main, in the normal main base of the southwest. And that there's definitely nothing over to the, or, well, sort of something to the northwest, but not really. Like, I think once Rar sees there's nothing here, they're going to go, oh crap, something's up. And they're going to guess, oh, well, it's over to the northwest, because that's normally the next place players go. But now they're going to see, oh no, it's not here either. Right as the warrior comes in, well, right as the pyro comes in, but the, there's already warriors in place. I mean, it's it's more of a thing that Rar is going to know where Gaiop is, and then they're just going to go, oh, well, I know how to deal with that. And then just deal with it. See, so, yeah, I'm not sure why pyros, I mean, of all things you could rush with, moderators would make a bit more sense, given that Rar, if they're going to go for, and they're going to go for heavy commander. And when they go for Cloaky Bot in particular, they're going to go for Commander plus Warrior. That's what they always go for. It's Commander Warrior. That is their... That's their thing. Or if they play Amphib, it's Commander... Commander Boy. If they play Shield, it's Commander Thug. They just pick whatever's sort of your standard assault unit and go with that. That's their thing. And going for a Rocket Launcher straight off the bat. Which won't help much against Pyros, but hey, there's the Moderators. That's what we needed. Throw some moderators in there. Once a few of those are up, then it should be fine. That's all that's really needed. Because if the moderators are in place, then... Everything will work out. Or at least it'll be a lot easier. Moderators will get rid of the warriors just fine. They might deal with Rar's commander, but it depends entirely on range. Right now... What range are you at? 400, no, actually, no, the rocket launcher wins. The moderators will not win this fight. They will be able to hit and run, though. But they won't be able to hit the fight. So at this point, and then the defender on top of that with 600 range, so yeah. Kind of a moot point. I'm not sure what Gaiop is going to intend to do from here. I mean, they're setting up a relatively strong economy. Despite the fact that they did go for a rush build, their economy is actually getting built up faster than a rush build normally goes for. I mean, once again, like last game, there's... It wasn't them, I realize, but still, not enough power. Or not enough energy. But at this point, it's not a big deal. They aren't accessing yet. They have time. They can build more energy if they'd like. The main thing, though, is just that, yeah, those warriors don't really stand much of a chance. They're kind of done. At least I think they are. I 
At the same time, though, Rar's commander is going to be able to deal with this. Like, Rar's commander is already set up to deal with moderators. They have much higher fire rate, much higher range. Or not much higher range yet, but they have higher range. Oh no, they have much higher range now. 494, yeah, they're, they're way ahead of the mod raiders. The mod raiders have to dodge in to get close enough to actually deal the damage. Which they aren't necessarily doing. At the same time though, Rar's commander is very far forward, and the mod raiders won't be able to save them. Sorry, not the moderators, the warriors. The moderators will kill off any warriors that get close. Although, admittedly, at this point, Gaiap is a little low on units. They aren't building much. They are, in fact, accessing... Gaiap, get your, get your energy up. Okay, you're building power plants. Great. Build more of them, and then put more... Actually, build units. Like, why do people not use infinite build? Anyway, there's the scuttle. Chat, I hope you're happy. There's the scuttle. There's not enough build power to make it come out efficiently, but there's the scuttle. Actually, at this point, Rar's commander with 3,800 HP, that's that's good. The Scuttle could still deal with that. But yeah. Need more power plants. Need more energy. Need more build power. I'm harping on this, partly because I need to remember it myself, but that's a thing. <laughs> it's like, that is a huge thing. Infinite build. Go to a factory. Hit the repeat button. So when I say infinite build, I mean repeat. I mean repeat. I just call it infinite build because... I think that's because that's what it was in Supreme Commander. Like, use it. I don't care what you say, Dying Front. Fr Dying Front, you think everything sucks. Or at least you think a lot of the new stuff sucks. I know you do. I know I think a lot of new stuff is good as well, but it's like... No. Infinite build is good. Especially if you're not going to be paying attention to your factory and actually building stuff with it. Which it seems like Gaia was not. So, yeah. Infinite build is your friend. We've seen a couple of games so far where players have been accessing metal because they weren't building units and then weren't actually doing anything. Anyway, as it is, Rar's commander is in a pretty precarious position and Rar is mostly invested in their commander. The only thing that's saving them right now is the fact that there aren't anything other than Mod Herbal as the Scuttle being built up. That's it. The scuttle is the only thing being built up right now. That and power plants, which is good. But yeah, once that scuttle is done, which is almost done, if it manages to get in, if it manages to kill Rar's commander, then that will probably end the game in Gaiap's favor. I mean, as it is, Gaiap is way ahead economically. They just need to push that into production. Rar, on the other hand, is actually pushing what little economy they have. Less economy, but more production capacity, so they're actually winning that way. Like, as it is... RAR counterintuitively has the economic advantage, or rather has the production advantage from the economy they have. Gaiap does have a defensive advantage, though, so it is a bit harder to deal with, but still. <clears throat> and RAR's commander up to... Ooh, Napalm Rockets with a bunch of range, and nowhere near enough health to survive a scuttle attack. So if that scuttle can be careful about how it gets to the commander, and most of RAR's army is dead, Gaiap just needs more power plants there. They are good. They needed those. Actually, just put more build power into the factory. Like, at least get your commander on it here. As you get commander building the power plants, there's the... Ah, oh, it missed! That's game. That's game. That's... Guy up's done. There's nothing they can do about it. They needed that scuttle to hit the commander, or they were dead. They didn't have the energy economy in a safe enough spot that they could maintain it if they got attacked. And at this point, it looks like Guy up might be trying to go in for an, a slight assault, but there's no way they can get in either. There's too much speed. Rar's commander's too fast. Guy's commander's about to go down. This is game. This is basically it. It's kind of unfortunate, too. Gaiap had plenty of metal, they just didn't have the energy for it! Ugh, Icons, share your make e-widget. It actually seems to be useful, or really necessary for people. Because, wow, Gaiap had a massive metal advantage. Gaiap also had 1,500 metal excessed. Like, seriously, this is the produced graph. This is how much Gaiap actually gathered. This is what went into the units. Rar had a slight economic advantage production-wise compared to Gaiop this entire game. Gaiop, you could have won that. Like, without a scuttle, you could have just won that. Just by having more energy, you could have had a larger army, and then could have worked from there to just wrecking Rar's commander. I mean, moderators would have still done it as long as they could dodge the shots from the rockets. Or even the scuttle, actually. The scuttle would have come out way faster. Like, if there was 23 energy inside the base already, and then the commander was helping build, or something else was helping build, like a couple more workers were helping build the scuttle, it would have been done way sooner. And then it would have been easier to hit with.
But yeah, so that's the thing, is like, that just came down to economy. And it was kind of annoying, because, yeah, I realized Rar's commander play is intimidating, but Gaia had everything set up right. Like, unit choice was on point. Like, the mod raiders were the right call, the scuttle was a good call, the... I mean, it's a bit of an emergency call, but it's still a good call. The... I mean, even the, the solar wall wasn't a bad idea, but I feel like that was making up for the fact that there wasn't enough production in the factory to actually get the units needed to get rid of Rar's army before it got too close. But yeah, that's the thing, is like, build your energy and it helps a ton. It's hard to remember because it's not territory, it's not flashy, but it is necessary. Because that's how the game has been designed, in order to make it so that territory control isn't the be-all end. Like, it's important, but it's not so be-all end-all that there isn't anything else you have to do. Like, there's a bit of a time moderator to it by way of the energy structures. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That is going to be it for me tonight, so thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone.